Bill Johnson and Johnson's famous credo believes, uh, begins famously, we believe our first responsibilities to the doctors, nurses, patients, mothers and fathers, all others who use our products and services. Is this recent recall some kind of failure to meet that value? Yeah, I think, I think we have to apologize, Jeff. I think we, we have done a disservice to uh, that first you know, tenet of our credo, which is our responsibility to patients. And I think it's, it's something that I have to apologize for, and I think it's a corporation we have to apologize for. Um, we, we have to understand that this is not the way we normally perform. This is not what we expect of ourselves. Uh, so, so, yes, it's, it's, a, it's a disappointment to all of us. I think the, the actions we took once we found out about this by taking all of the products off of the market and, and stopping manufacturing in that facility and putting people in there, both outsiders as well as the best people internally, to look at it, to understand what went on, and to make sure that when we start up operations there again, that we will be able to ensure the safety and quality of the product that uh, people should expect from us. So, yeah, I, I have to apologize. We, we have let ourselves down in this specific instance. There was an FDA report on this. Uh, it's very difficult for most people to read. What happened at that facility? What, what went wrong? Well, I, I, think it, I think it's hard to, it's really hard to understand. Um, we're, we're looking into all of this right now. Our, our, first, our first thing, obviously, is to protect the, the integrity of the, the patients that use our products and to, to stop manufacturing, to get the products out of the marketplace, to do these things. And I think we'll, we'll understand a lot more later on. Um, there was some behaviors, and I think this is a lot of behavioral related, where people are not following good GMP and, and some of the standard operating procedures. Right. Um, GMP is good manufacturing, good manufacturing practices, practice. sure. Um, so I think, I think that there was some of that. There's other things that we have to look at because we have to make sure that everybody that works in these facilities really do follow the good practices, and I think we're going to understand that afterwards. Right now, we're trying to make sure that we are doing what's right for the patients. Yeah. When did you first learn about it? Uh, the history goes back a ways, but this is a very large company. When did you first become aware of this? You, you know, Jeff, I, I honestly don't, I can't recall. You know, it seems like we've, you know, been talking about it so long I couldn't tell you the exact dates. I know that once we did become aware of it um, and our quality people raised it to our attention that we, uh, we stopped the manufacturing, we stopped distributing product, we notified the FDA that we were going to be having a recall and work closely with the FDA to make sure that we, we executed that appropriately. And, and we felt that it was the right thing to do to take all of these products out of the market, these, uh, you know, you could say pediatric and children's liquid OTC products. This protects the consumer. Right. Uh, the FDA report said that um, initially they met with people, managers at the plant in February. Um, I think a lot of consumers are wondering, well, why wasn't anything done then? Well, I'm not sure that uh, we fully understood the, the issues at that point in time. Me there's many meetings that go on with the FDA. We find out various and sundry things. Um, and, and when we feel that we have an issue, we address the issue. I think we've, we're, we're noted for that and we'll continue to do that. So there are numerous meetings that go on, but that's not necessarily a, a, an area that would cause us to um, address something like this. We, we, I, I guess it would be safe to say when we started the investigation, looked into it, identified these issues, um, we notified the FDA on Tuesday of uh, that week that we were going to be with re recalling the products, worked with the FDA, and had them out of the market on Friday. Uh, w with regard to the recall, what's next? What are the next steps in the procedure? I, I think, you know, we've, we've really put people in place, Jeff. I think the, the thing that uh, we, we needed to do is to make sure we had outside experts coming in to assess our own systems and, and our processes and procedures, how we work. We've got our own people, the, the best people we have from every place in the world. You know, people have rallied to this and are looking at it. We need to analyze it, make sure we understand what the issues are. There, there may be other issues that have not been identified and identify those and then fix them and make sure we get the right fixes in place. We have assured the people that use our products that we will not release anything out of this facility until we have rectified the issues, resolve them, and get them out, you know, and get the product out that is of the quality we expect. We don't know the timeline on it. It's, it's I think, you know, it's very difficult to tell right now, um, and we'll continue to work with the FDA to ensure that uh, they're comfortable and we're comfortable and can get the best products out. But, you know, the timing is very tough to, to identify at this point.